Well, the largest consequence really is just that quality of life deteriorates dramatically in patients with chronic pain. You can compare groups of patients and the individuals in the general population in terms of their quality of life, and patients with chronic pain have some of the lowest reported levels. So it's imperative for us to look for ways to engage that patient early in their course so that we can potentially reverse the causes of their pain, but also engage them in a process of rehabilitation so they don't suffer all of the numerous consequences, the depression, the physical deactivation, the loss of income, uh, and social relationships and support as well.